Today is Thursday, June 29th, 2017. Welcome to the Daily Mix. Here are your top lines for the day. Dow drops 200 points in midday trading thanks to a slide in the tech sector. This erasing all big gains out of the big banks over the last few days. We are in for one hell of a roller coaster ride into Q3 and 4 of the year, especially given the tumultuity coming out of the financial sector. On top of that, Walgreens pulls out of their Rite Aid acquisition for multiple billions of dollars when rumor had it the Federal Trade Commission wasn't going to approve the acquisition. Interestingly enough, on the heels of the announcement of the breakup of the acquisition attempt, Walgreens is making a play for over half of Rite Aid's doors. Let's see how that plays out given the free up of capital for Rite Aid to continue to expand their wellness and localization concepts rolled out earlier this year. As an example, a sweet deal with Hershey's brought a local store within a store concept to their hometown store. Let's see how this plays out. I have a feeling Rite Aid is going to see a lot of big gains in the coming years. Speaking of business, coming out of the mass market market sector. Man, the wars are heating up again, this time coming out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Target releasing a new test for next day delivery for their red card holders. This goes up against everything that Walmart and certainly Amazon has been trying to do for the last several months. On the heels of the acquisition by Amazon for Whole Foods to bolster their distribution and local market stronghold strategy, Walmart is also putting more money behind their Jet.com acquisition which took place earlier this year. Target's got its work cut out for it, but given Target and certainly the Mastige approach, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. And in a little bit of international news, Brazil's Natura purchasing the Body Shop from L'Oreal for over a billion dollars. Body Shop has had the worst couple of years in its history. Now, the problems have stemmed from the fact that L'Oreal couldn't find a buyer for the last couple of years, given the poor performance of the brand. Natura typically does not have a lot of retail experience, so it's going to be see, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I represented Natura for PR for a number of years, and given their strategy and their approach to market with more of a one-to-one and home concept, I have a feeling they're going to have a challenge ahead of them that they're unaware of. They do have some doors in Brazil, but that's nothing like the American retail sector. And lastly, for a little nostalgia and certain Certainly a twist on a throwback Thursday. Hostess releasing chocolate peanut butter Twinkies into the market. Now that's something I can get behind. Thanks for watching the Daily Mix. I'll see you soon.